Welcome to Olympian Cares, giving you the best in water testing and analysis. So have you ever wondered, how does New York City get its water? Well, here at Hudson Reed, they have a great breakdown of this. And we use water from everything, washing our hands, our daily shower, using the toilet. And a lot of people don't really think about that. But it starts 125 miles in upstate New York. It flows through underground tunnels to distribution chambers. It's treated disaffected by ultraviolet light, treated with chlorine, fluoridated, and tested for purity before it's delivered into buildings. And one of the places that's done with all this is the water storage and supply system. There's an individual video on this, but simply this is a supply system of the largest surface water storage and supply system in the world. And it reliably delivers more than a staggering 1.1 billion gallon of drinking water to 9 million people 1.1 billion gallons think about that and in the united states new york city is one of the five metropolitan areas that still supplies unfiltered surface water to its residents then there's miles and miles of aqueduct the water flows from reservoirs and lakes through an impressive system of aqueducts and tunnels including the hundred year old catskill aqueduct this extends 92 miles from Ashkone and in the Catskill Mountains, and it relies on gravity alone. It's very, very impressive. And the Catskill Aqueduct has an operational capacity of approximately 550 million gallons per day. And it usually operates well below capacity, with daily averages around 350 to 400 million. And then it has the world's largest water disinfectant plant. So after traveling through the Catskill Delaware aqueducts, the water arrives to Kenso Reservoir, and this is an important balancing reservoir for daily demands of the city, and up until this point, the water is unfiltered and untreated. The next stage is to disinfect the water and treat it with fluoride at the world's largest ultraviolet treatment facility, which is amazing. Then you can see some things, a stop at the Hillview Reservoir, the water makes another stop on its way to the city, the reservoir in Yonkers, and it has three main functions. It balances daily demand, second, the water undergoes additional disinfectant, and third, the reservoir serves to elevate the water, so when it continues on the force of gravity, it moves through with enough force into homes, into the tunnels, and it goes into the tunnel. It can be in tunnel number one, two, three, which were completed at different time periods, 1917, 1963, and 1970, and into your home. If you live in a building that's less than six stories high, gravity is going to do all the work for you. And just remember, to maintain the quality of water, testing is done at 1,000 sampling stations around the city. Remember, New York City is one of the big five municipalities that's allowed by federal government to supply unfiltered water. So I hope this journey was interesting for you, especially Hudson Reed did a great job of breaking it down on how your water gets to you if you're in New York City. It's always a good idea to know where your water is coming from and to test it periodically.